Hey guys, welcome to the Queen Dome. It is springtime and we're going to document everything in here just so I have a record and I can figure out what I have. I can look back, I'm going to stash it on my computer, but I've already got green growing and we're going to see what all um, I planted today. Now this wild lettuce is just taking over this corner, so I dug up the um, onion chives, moved them to give it more room to flourish. I've got my mums. My mums are just doing like crazy. And then I've got my cucumbers in between. The cucumbers are starting to go up the vine, and look at this. We have a bloom in that awesome. And I planted a couple of onions back in the back, but I think my flowers... <laughs> I think the mums are going to get them. What do you think? I still have these potatoes to go. Uh, Lippy and I dug some, and this morning I dug some. I've got a good mess of potatoes that came out of that little spot right there that you see empty. And Danny and I are going to have fresh potatoes today. Now, Lippy and I dug about a space where this radish thing is, and then I dug this other spot. So now I've added radishes in both places the purple plum, and the champion. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna learn to grow radishes. I want radishes, and that's one thing that I have lots of trouble growing. And another mum, look at it, it's just taking over. They will be in full bloom shortly, cause you can see they're starting. Isn't that amazing? Not long, and we have full bloom mums in here again. Now, here I planted some little green lima beans. We have our little flower that I had in the green stalk that just, it's coming out. I planted it here and it's doing great. Nothing in this section right here. We've got a couple of Egyptian walking onions, an aloe vera, a Gerber daisy that's from last year that's still blooming like crazy, which is amazing to me. Went all winter. And this is Miss Lippy's aloe tree. You have to ask Miss Lippy. I don't know, but it is one of the best aloes around. Plus, I have this one and I have a stash of aloe in the barn greenhouse. My petunias just always go crazy in here and I think it's amazing to have these petunias. We've still got our um, peppercorn. It didn't die back in the winter. It's made it up that tall. The one on the other side has already gotten that tall. We have two on the other end, but this year we're going to see, can we make peppercorn since it didn't die back? This is one of my squash plants. Look at here. It is blooming and I have two squash already. This is a gold prize from Hoss Tools. I planted it in a seed tray and got it up early. Look at that. I have a few English peas still lingering because I planted a second crop. Not many of them, and they're not doing much because it's getting too hot most days, but they still are there. I put tomatoes. Let's see. This is the Roadster, and it's not poison on them, guys. I put flour on them. I heard that F-L-O-U-R will help repel bugs, plus putting it around the base and stuff is fertilized. Who knew? I had some old flour in the freezer, and so I'm using it. This little plant has hung in here. It was in the green stalk last year. I planted it. We're going to see how it grows. Another roadster tomato in between the English peas. Another roadster. These sunflowers were in the microgreens that I grew. I just stole a few of them out and can plant them periodically. Look at the one over yonder by that temperature thing. Look at it. It's already tall. So I planted sunflowers in here. And there's another one down yonder. So we got sunflowers. This is a marigold. It's looking a little pitiful, but it'll come back out. I've got, on that side, I've got green onions. Well, that's the onion chives. A little garlic coming up. I planted lima beans all down in the spaces. These are the limas, the Hendersons from the Survival Garden Seeds. I planted them all in here. And I've got our onion chives on the back. And like I said, my sunflowers. 
So we've got Henderson lima beans planted. Up here I have two ferns. I chopped off pieces and put in here to start over and then sent the rest with Miss Lippy. Eggplant. This thing stayed in here all summer long. Last year didn't do anything. In the fall it started growing, put on a couple of little eggplants. I chopped it all back when it died back, but look at it, it's come out. And it has flower on it because bugs tend to want to get onto it early this year. So we're just trying anything we can naturally to repel bugs. And it's already bloomed, but I think the cold got the bloom before the insects could. I planted on each side of this eggplant, the eggplant long. It is from Survival Garden Seeds. I planted one on each side of the older eggplant. And then around them, I put the burgundy, royal burgundy bush beans. And I have one little onion, but the purple bush beans go to right here. Then I have another of my peppercorns, another of my daisies from last year. This thing has bloomed. It's been a beautiful spot in most of my videos. Most all of them have my daisies in the doorway. I transplanted this out of the green stalk. I made two pots, one here and the other one here. So I think it's going to do amazing. Another peppercorn coming down. Um, this was a flower that was in the green stalk. I took it out. I don't know what it's called. An angel, angelonia. I don't know. Then I've got lavender. I love lavender, so I put one on each side. Miss Lippy brought me basil, and we put two basils in here. Then these tomatoes are the Mountain Vineyard tomatoes. I have four of these, I think. And again, it's flower on them. And we have some more marigolds back there. Up here, look at the sunflowers. Y'all, it ain't going to be long. This thing's going to decide to bloom. I'm just telling you. A few English peas. Miss Lippy brought me this. This is a yellow squash, I believe she said, right there. And then I have nothing except a couple of English peas that aren't doing good. This is one of the plants that was in the uh, green stalk. It's here. Then I have a couple of beans coming up. And I'll show you on the other side what I've got planted here. But here's my peppercorn and my lantana. It was a perfect spot here last year. And it looks great this year. Danny wanted to try the Japanese holeless popcorn. So I'm putting some here in this whole section. And we're going to try popcorn this year. Again, I had good luck last year over there. So we're going to try it. And then he's going to put some in the field. I took all of Danny's rutabagas out, cleaned this up, and planted rainbow Swiss chard. And look at our little friend. He's hiding out there. <laughs> he thinks I don't see him, but I do. So I have rainbow Swiss chard. We're going to see if that works. We have a, a tea tree, I think this is, that Mr. John sent. This flower just hasn't done too well, so I chopped it all back. We have a mint here. Let's see, I forgot which mint, but I think it's spearmint. Smells wonderful. Good bug repellent. We have our Egyptian walking onions going to town here. Another marigold or two. Another flower that came out of the green stalk. And then I decided to try the Little Fingers Carrots. I know it's a little warm for it, but we're going to see. I planted them all sparsely in between these beans. Now, I don't remember which beans I planted in here. So, we have beans here and here. And they're all supposed to be bush beans. But these seem to be wanting to put on runners. So I don't know what kind of beans I have here. 
I have in the four corners of this bed I put onions and these are just multiplying onions to see how they'll do inside all these beans are supposed to be bush beans I think green beans of some sort probably contenders but I don't remember then I have another of my daisies and they seem to be working great this bed I'm not adding anything to I dug up a little bit today the ginger the turmeric is doing amazing underground so it'll come out within a month the one that was already out you see how they're doing both turmeric and ginger is already doing really well out look at this the green stalk link in the description below guys green stalk vertical planters I'm growing some amazing strawberries in those so guys that is Wanda's Queen Dome this is my documenting what I've got planted so that I can kind of remember guys it's amazing it was like 36 this morning it's 80 in here already I've got the vents open the winds blowing outside we haven't rolled the sides up yet I haven't got that hot but outside it's probably still in the high 60s so guys what do you think stay tuned for to see what the queen dome does how many of these seeds actually work if they produce the big thing is can they grow a plant and the main problem is can we have food is it possible thank you guys from crazy days